everyone, my name is Weya and I make plant content here on my channel. Welcome to this week's episode. Finally, I'm able to make a report video and hopefully the audio will come out fine. This is where I do all of the reportings that I need to do, especially bulk reportings because it, I can't do it inside the house. It's just too messy. I'm probably way too messy or like maybe... I'm just a messy person in general when reporting because it's difficult for me to do reporting inside the house, especially when there are carpets around because the soil just gets into the carpet, things like that. I used to report like in the middle of the kitchen and the living room and it just makes way too much mess, especially if the plants that I report are already big plants. I have quite a few big plants and that's when it gets very difficult to repot plants. And so my husband and I decided to have a quite like a small plant space inside the garage. So yes, let's get started because I have quite a few plants to report today. Okay, so first is this Philodendron Hastatum or the Philodendron Silver Sword. Yeah, I rooted this one in soil and it lost few leaves. And then I decided to put it in Leca and it has been few months already since it rooted there's still no new growth this is still the cutting that i rooted and nothing there's no new growth as you can see this is the top part of the cutting i, I got it from a plant swap here i cut it just not too long ago because there was this another node that did not produce any roots and i wanted to try again wet stick propagation and then here there's another node that did not like it has an auxiliary bud i can see but it's not producing anything and i was thinking that maybe i can cut this one off and make three plants out of this one 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 cutting but i don't know maybe i'll do it in spring or in when i'll maybe i'll probably do it in spring or maybe i'll do it i do not know when maybe i'll do an air layering with this top plant i don't know so many plants but i do not know i do not know which way to go really put it in soil for now so maybe this is an okayish size of a pot i don't throw out my used pot so i put it underneath this table so it reduces the clutter i will be putting this one inside this clear like this orchid orchid pot so that i will see the root developing and i've already pre-mixed a soil mixture usually i just do um i just use perlite and soil mixture for my plants and so far everything has been okay and this is my mixture like i don't measure i think it just do 50 50 maybe and yes yeah, so this is my repotting repotting when this video goes out i think i would be coming out with a grow light video and hopefully the grow light video will help you guys for your grow lights this growing like this winter months and this uh, this winter month so three months of no proper sunlight here we go well it's been three months since there's no proper sunlight it's one down i have two philodendron silver sword to repot today one is this cutting and another one is one of my wet stick propagation and then i also have so far my wet stick propagation grows faster than this cutting it's so weird and that wet stick propagation has two growth points in one node like that like this plant has been so weird for me <laughs> so i don't know hopefully it's okay that's my soil and then another one is this philodendron silver sword isn't that cute and so you can see there are two growth points that's a growth from one node and for some reason it produced two growth points from this from this cutting i mean from this wet stick so i don't know what happened i don't know what happened or how it happened but somehow it happened <laughs> i'm not mad at all because this this wet stick alone or this single plant alone can give me a full looking plant already i'll be putting it in this small pot and it's a clear one as well so it won't be very difficult for me to again assess the roots if i if i have to so this tiny tiny one i don't remember anymore when i got my silver sword but yeah i got it from a plant swap and i'm so happy because i was able like with that one plant swap i was able to do few experiment <laughs> i'm very fond wait i'm very fond of 
you guys hear me properly i'm very fond of experiments to be honest i'm fond of trying different ways of doing stuff so that's why like sometimes i use air layering sometimes i use soil propagation sometimes i use water propagation but so far my favorites have been soil and air layering water propagation not that much i do not know why it is very convenient i get it but i just don't like having that i don't know there's certain there's a i don't know i feel like soil propagation is better because maybe i grow plants that are good or like they like soil being soil propagated like philodendron for example or like prayer plants and prayer plants i like them just like dividing the roots but so far this plant has been very good for me and also by and sphagnum propagation like the sphagnum moss those are three of my favorites there you go here it is my philodendron silver sword a mini one a mini silver sword and you can really see how silvery that is it's already starting to look like a bit of a sword like it's now starting to have that more elongated leaves months of hard work <laughs> months and months from wet stick to a whole plant plants are fun to grow because growth doesn't happen in just one day oh, my hair i need to cut my hair again <laughs> okay this one is my philodendron golden dragon i got this one online and it already had three leaves when i got it but it was still a cutting and i grew it in this i mean i rooted it out in sphagnum moss whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. nope you can't break i rooted this one out in sphagnum moss and so far it has been doing very very well like very very well look at that and it took so much time though like it was it wasn't very fast it wasn't that fast when it grew the roots to grow the new leaf was the slowest part of growing this plant this one leaf just started to show up like this month i guess it's already like the last month of autumn and i got this one i think it's either late spring or early summer like around that time it already grew very good root system but new leaf that did it took it like to take its time yep it took its time to grow new leaves and now finally one new leaf on the way now just have to remove the sphagnum moss i'm so scared of removing the sphagnum moss because i don't want to snap off the root the roots look healthy though that for sure this is why i like growing in sphagnum moss like i mean rooting out in sphagnum moss because root you can really see how the roots are going but the problem is the removing the sphagnum moss there's always a pros and cons of every propagation method i'm showing you now the con of rooting out in sphagnum moss but it's okay as long as the roots are healthy and sometimes sphagnum moss looks like the sphagnum moss looks like the root system so so i'm a bit scared of pulling everything out that's the root system that the plant developed before growing up this new growth that's the growth that it grew in under my care finally 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 and i'm gonna be using this pot the humidity today just dipped down so low like i panicked legit by panic because like i was sleeping resting suddenly oh my god and then i'm gonna water these today i mean after i'm gonna water these because as some of these plants are used to like for example this one being in sphagnum moss and it might get shocked or it, you know it's not okay so scared i got this plant online and i thought i will not be able to grow the roots out because it took some time as well for the for the plant to grow roots i think maybe because it was shipped and was stressed out i do not know there you go another plant done that's my golden philodendron golden dragon or the camouflage i think i don't know there are so many different names for one plant that i sometimes don't know which name to use this plant i want to separate this because the pot has four plants i repotted this plant not so long ago like in summer and i realized that it's better to have this as a specimen 
in the experiment because they are the same plants and they grew at the same time and it would be nice to see plants growing at the same time and, and see how they react under different lights because they've been together for so long so this is one so these are my red emerald philodendron and i just oh my god i just look what i did to the leaf i just put look at the leaf it got stuck hold on hold on oh my god there's water ah this is why i can't repot inside the house why okay there you go yeah i just watered this oh i done the leaf it's okay it would be so interesting to see how they would react how they will react in different grow lights so one grow light will be so there are four plants in this spot one i'll put one plant underneath the mars grow light mars hydro grow light one will be under ikea one will be under the grow light the bulb one the led bulb that i just showed you guys and another one i'll leave it inside the house underneath those led strip lights that i just bought so oh my gosh okay now i have to separate them okay it's not so difficult to separate these because they are they have been separated all their lives <laughs> and i just put them in one pot so it's not too difficult so this one and as you can see the new growth is not anymore that it doesn't come from this leaf anymore it came from like this one i forgot what it's called so this one is already like a teenager plant this is the original leaf cutting as you can see like this is the original leaf cutting this one so that's one down i'll put one underneath do not know which. and this one is this one i broke one leaf <laughs> yep i always do that i do not know why and then this one another cutting you see i was trying to put them like bind them together because this one's already like gonna be flopping like like a bit wobbly already because this one's the biggest the biggest one i think i'll put this one inside the house and the smaller ones i'll put under the grow light and see how they will develop but i will be putting up new updates every now and then Move. Okay. okay so this one as you can see again it's already growing big okay i need four pots and i took only two so okay let's do this so i took four pots and four pots four pots four pots four pots do you guys like using nursery pots and then put them in like cash catch pots cash pots how do you call that like those pots that don't have holes because that's my that's that's what i really like doing and since i've started using that instead of the instead of the how do you call those though instead of terracotta pots i've so far that's how i've liked it and that's how it's so convenient especially when you have a lot of plants that's for me that's more convenient for me than using the terracotta pots especially in watering but for some plants i make exemptions for a few philodendrons for example like Groot is in a terracotta pot even if he's such a big guy but i guess he's happy in the terracotta pot and anyways i don't have really have to carry him around when i have to water him so for big plants i do use like the irony <laughs> for big plants i use terracotta pots and they are so much heavier but for smaller plants i like to use this like like plastic pots inside catch pots or cash pots how do you say that like those pots that don't have don't have any holes 
to know it's just so much easier in my opinion that's how i've been doing things and that's how i want to share it with you guys with my repotting videos and then after this one i don't know if i should repot my philodendron the my pedatums because i do need to repot few of my pedatums because oh my god the roots they are giving off already it's crazy and i don't know what to do now but there's so many of them it's if you have watched one of my videos the i mean two of my videos the how do you call that the my house plant tour video my first ever plant content video or my propagation box video I, you would have see you would see my pedatum philodendron pedatum plant and its propagations and the roots are now even going cray cray even more so i don't know what to do with them i wish when i started it's just that when i when i got that, those plants i did not start have i did not have a youtube well, i had a youtube channel for a year now but i stopped making plant I, mean, I stopped making any content at all like in general and i just started making plant content not so long ago i think about three months ago i guess most like yeah about three months ago and i already had that i already have that plant i already got that plant and reported that plant for quite some time already around that time so i wasn't able to make any i wasn't able to vlog or like make a footage or anything because when i got the plant that when i got that plant i did not think of like oh i'm gonna have a plant plant youtube kind of <laughs> like a youtube channel that revolves around plants you know like i did not think like that back then so yeah that's why i don't know when i started like i just like i just remember like oh yeah i have a youtube channel why don't i make a plant video and i already did all the plant stuff that i was doing the entire time and i did not make any video any footage and the only thing that i can think of was like a house plant tour video <laughs> i need to repot this plant and put it in one pot i think i'll put this plant i put few i think i'll put four plants in one pot and then let it climb a moss pole because i got few moss poles yeah, I got one moss pole and I let it climb a moss pole because it's growing these roots already. Look at that. Don't look at that aerial root. It's growing this aerial root. It's ready to climb. I'm ready to climb, Mrs. I'm ready to climb. <gasps> There's so many of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sometimes I do not know what I'm doing. You know that? You know what I mean? And sometimes taking too much too much sometimes it's getting too much this is why i'm using this black these black like nursery pots when propagating like soil propagations i won't like i can just squeeze it and then the soil will come out and the entire roots will come out and there's oh <gasps> wow the roots oh wow look at that look at the roots the root system oh wow that's that's crazy look at the root system that's amazing i need to stop talking and start working because the footage is already 40 minutes long and i don't like editing long videos <laughs> okay that's nice another root i mean another plant wow wow okay And then this one wow look at that root system so proud so proud and there's no need to make to acclimate them to soil because they their roots are soil roots yeah and these are my soil propagation of a black pagoda yeah i have to report as well a few of my black pagoda propagation okay and then this one I hope you guys can see me clearly and if you see like a christmas decoration at the back that's because my husband has been very busy with decorating for christmas 
seconds or more. It's already late, I think. Oh my gosh, it's already 9 p.m. <laughs> okay, yep, I'll be able to do. And I did not put the moss pole. Huh. <sighs> okay, moss pole will be later when they will. Why? I think I'll use this one for now. Because, anyways, the plant is not very big yet. Chinchilla marbles. There's such a good news about her because she's already slowly adjusting. She has slowly adjusted to her new home. <gasps> that is it. I freaking broke an entire plant. <sighs> it's okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be just fine. All is well. It's time to clean. So yeah. Oh my gosh, there's another plant that I need to repot. I forgot my tortum. I forgot to repot my tortum, guys. Keeps on talking. Okay. This is my tortum, and I got it from a plant swap with my friend Carly. I think I can put him in his, this one. Yep, I think I'll put him in this to help with the root rot. Now I need to call my husband to help me bring the plants inside the house. <laughs> okay, guys, that is it for this video. Almost forgot my philodendron turtum, but I was able to repot it, and here it is. So that's a philodendron turtum. It kind of it's like a the palm tree of a philodendron family. So yeah, that's my philodendron turtum. So that is it for this video. I was able to repot a lot of plants few of my plants including propagations thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this chit chat i have an hour and 20 minutes footage to edit and i'll try to make it as short as possible so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye